Hey! It's been a while since I have done any kind of video, but I'm here today with a sort of review of a shopping service and a new purchase, which I'm excited about. So I pre-ordered with Chinese Lolita Updates, who are very active on Facebook and act as both a shopping service for Taobao, which is the Chinese market for basically everything and anything. You can literally buy cheese on Taobao. I'm having a fight with an AP hoodie. Um, but yeah, Taobao has a lot of Lolita shops at varying price ranges, uh, carrying varying styles, and Chinese Lolita updates post updates from Lolita shops and they will also act as a shopping service. I find I found that through my experience with them though they're very reasonably priced and very quick to answer. Um, so the pre-order was in I'm just checking here, my pre-order was in June. Um, so they sent me a invoice uh, within a very quick time frame of confirming what I wanted. They sent me their shopping service rules, their like general guidelines on how their service works, what their fees are. Um, then they ask for my address and such. Actually, no, the ad <laughs> address came first. So they give you like an eight hour deadline to pay your invoice, which is fair enough. They take payment through PayPal, which is very useful. And Yes, so they received my dress on the 21st of August of this year. They confirmed the um, address and then asked if I wanted it marked down for customs purposes. They then gave me a selection of um, shipping options. I chose the cheapest, which was TNT. Um, they did say, you know, it may be delayed, it may take a while. Just, we're letting you know before we send it. Like, are you, are you, you know, is this definitely what you want? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So then they invoiced me for the shipping. I paid my shipping, which was really cheap. It was like 15 pounds or something. And they sent it on the 24th of August and it arrived on the 26th. <laughs> so no complaints with their speed of shipping. Literally they had it and within five days I had it. So I'm going to open it up. It's an Earth FedEx bag, but I definitely had it shipped with TNT. Um, I had a weird customs letter from them that I couldn't quite explain, but so they didn't seem to charge me customs. So here we have the JSK. I'm just making sure there's nothing else in the bag. Oh wow, is that a mouse mat? So this is Bathroom Toys by Cat's Brew. I saw it shared on the positive and plus size Facebook group. Wow, this looks really good. So there's um, a little sticker on saying what it is. My light does not like that. And it's in this like, bag. I don't know if the shopping service put it in this bag, but I'm going. So first there's this, like, I guess that's a mouse mat of a little sleepy cat's broom bear. Very sweet. I'm not sure what I'm going to use him for, but he's very cute. And then the dress itself. Oh, it's a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. So, oh wow, yes. everything's like attached onto it. So we have all the tags, obviously very much brand new with tags. They're on like a security clip. Um, this is the overskirt for the dress. It's really similar in terms of like idea to a meta dress that I have, which is called Lo Lovely Bathroom, I think. Oh, hello. You are there. Um, I was like, it's got buttons for waist ties, no waist ties, no waist ties. Those are the buttons for the skirt. So here's the print, and it's got really cute little toys um there is this bear friend having a bath oh, this is really nice um so i don't normally oh it's got pockets Ooh. 
once we get the ring, yeah, that's like a good size pocket. Um, I don't normally buy from Taobao. Um, I prefer a lot of prints that are non-Taobao prints. It's a personal preference. Um, I support people who do buy from Taobao. Oh wow, even the like um, security tag that holds it all on is branded. So now I've taken that off, I can release it a bit more. Um, this is the waist bow. I don't think there were any accessories that came with this series. Uh, if there were, I didn't buy them. Their tags is like cat food themed tags, which are super cute and very fun. Um, a spare button. <laughs> um, there's that tag. There we go, it's got really long scraps. And there is the overskirt portion. I'm gonna try and put this on. So it looks like it's got quite a short torso. Now I'm not wearing a patty with my hoodie okay. I'm really hoping this fits. I'm all tangled up at the back. Okay, so the bodice is not that flattering on me. Um, that is very short. Um, if I wasn't wearing this hoodie, like everything would be out. Um, this obviously is no fault in my shopping service. This is more on me. Of just not reading things but I think I think she has potential and um, so here's the overskirt I think this is definitely a very cute JSK and I am gonna work around to attach it like a skirt like onto the buttons so it doesn't slip and slide which is quite clever really when you think about it if you don't constantly constantly drop it okay this is actually way stretchier but it's good to know because now I can I can use this for other other dresses this little overskirt so yeah we've got the little overskirt on um, I still got the issue of these waist ties. Not quite sure what I'm meant to do with them. <laughs> we'll pull these out. So yeah, that's basically the the JSK on me. It's um the length isn't bad. It's just this bodice is like <laughs> it's really really short. Um if I pull it up really high so the straps are loose, um, it does have buttons further down the strap I noticed, so if I cross these over it may be a better place, but it's a very short bodice. But the print is super duper cute. So yeah, I would definitely, I definitely recommend ordering through Chinese Lolita updates. Maybe not this JSK, I don't know, up to you. It's cute. I think if you were shorter and smaller than me, you'd have a better time. <laughs> but you gotta try everything once. And with Lolita, you do have the great thing of it's easier to sell secondhand. Also, my bunny ears are stuck. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you next time.